Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In this video, I am going to talk about how to implement Google Gemini function calling using Microsoft Semantic Kernel. One of our video, we talk about how to implement Google Gemini model in Microsoft Semantic Kernel. If you, if you don't watch this video, please go through this video before watching the, in this video. So let's jump into the Visual Studio. We write simple code how to implement this function calling mechanism in Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In Visual Studio, I have created the project called Google Function Calling Demo. Here I created the plugin, the plugin called the Currency Converter plugin. This plugin used to convert one currency to another currency. For example, Euro to Indian rupees, Euro to dollar, dollar to Indian rupees, like that I created. And here I specified the, the rate. So Euro to INR, how much the rate some the same way for dollar and everything this is just sample so the our idea here is using the google gemini model we are going to call this currency converter plugin to convert the currency so this is our concept okay let's move on to our main program.cs file in this file i created the kernel object the kernel object i used add google a gemini chat completion here we have to pass the google gemini model id and api key you have to pass it this configuration I, I added into the config file. So you want to try this sample, you have to use your own uh, Gemini key and uh, model ID. The next step, I added the currency converter into the plugin. After that, I requested the chat completion service to get the chat service object. In the chat service object, I call the get chat message contents async function. Here I pass the chat history class. So here I just specified only the object creation so now we are going to add the message also. Since the message has added, we are going to call this function and we get the response and the response displayed to the user and we just complete the process. Let's start first step. We are going to add the user message. So here I am going to add the user message. Chat history dot add user message. So this is a user message. I just hard code it. The first one is what is Google Gemini and let me know about one euro exchange rate of in the currency to INR. So here I specified I need to convert one euro to Indian rupees. So that I specified here. The next step we have to go to pass this one to here and there are other argument is there. We have to pass that also. So we have to specify the function calling how you want to implement the function calling whether the auto or manual that we have to specify to specify that settings we have to use gemini prompt execution settings and i define the variable settings equal to new off new off here we have to specify tool call behavior tool call be equal to gemini tool called behavior dot auto auto invoke kernel function so we specified automatically the function should call so we have to pass this gemini prompt execution settings here i pass these settings the next argument the plugin we have to specify the plugin available in the kernel object so we have to pass the kernel also here there's a third argument here so our object name is kernel so that also is pass it that's it. So the basic setup is ready. So we specify the chat history and we specify the function calling and we specify the kernel also. Seems, seems to be all fine. And we start the application. We get the result here. What is Google Gemini? We asked. So we get some information. I can tell you about the exchange rate, but I'm not Google Gemini. I'm large language model created by Google AI. That's fine. And uh, the next message is coming to get the exchange rate for one euro to INR. I need to use the available tools. So it's clear the function calling it's not happening here because if it's called, then we get the exchange rate. So some problem is that, that we have to fix it and make sure the function calling working properly. So stop the application. Here I'm adding one system message like add chat history dot add 
system message just mention like if you cannot find the answer try using function call to locate the information that's it the next step I'm going to add one breakpoint to the currency converter so here I put the breakpoint euro to INR because our query is exchange rate to INR we start the application again and uh, we see the output this time here you can see now the function call hit our function euro to INR the amount passed one which I specified in the user message and written the amount so continue and this time you can see the answer the current exchange rate for 1 euro to INR so 100.4 if you go to the currency converter and go to the top and here you can see the exchange rate here we simply add one message in the system if you cannot find the answer try using function call to locate the information that's it so we get the output in the system message we specified if you cannot find the answer try using function calls to locate the information actually if, if you see some other function calling for example if you go to the function calling program.cs file here we did not specify any system message we just add only the user message and we get the result but using Google Gemini we have to specify this one to get the answer Google Gemini function calling it's in the preview so that's the reason maybe it's not working properly that's what I specify the system message if you cannot find the answer try using function calls to locate the information and one more important point all the Google model it won't support the function calling these are the models supporting the function calling 1.5 Pro version 001, 002 and Gemini 1.5 Flash and Gemini 1.5 Pro.